Hello Arc family, today, I will help you all get your port forwarding configured. I know it is a confusing step for a lot of you, so let's fix that issue and get you on your adventures ASAP. To start this process, let's use Ready GSM to find our server port numbers. Make sure you have your servers ready to launch up. In order to find our server port numbers, our servers have to be online. You will know when your servers are up when you see the advertising for join script as the last line. Or the status at the bottom will say, server ready. Now, if you go within the help tab, then show used ports, ready GSM shows you the exact range being used here. We need to open these UDP ports in our router settings. As you can see, my servers are using ports 15,000 up to 15,007. Next we need to log in to our router settings with the login info found on your device. Type the admin IP in with the admin password. Head to the advanced settings and find the port forwarding. Mine is right here with a virtual service tab. Here within the port forwarding you'll see basic settings for your ports. You'll want to use the add new feature and configure your forwarding. For me I can just modify the one I have. So in here we can add the range which I just used a max of 15,999, so I have plenty of room for my servers. For security reasons, you may want to only use the range ready, GSM provided, such as 15,000 up to 15,007. Next input your IPv4 address from your system network settings. You won't need to do any TCP ports, just set the protocol to UDP. Keep the status on enabled and slap that save button so you don't have to do this again. Now, to put these changes in effect, you will need to reboot or restart your router. And congratulations, you now have Arc servers online and available for your friends to play on. However, they will not be able to connect to your servers until you make one firewall adjustment. If you go to your search at the bottom of your screen and type in WF, it should prompt Windows firewall settings. Right-click on it and open as administrator. On the left you will see inbound rules. Open that tab. Now on the right, you can create a new rule. Over here is a few options, but for this, you will want to select port and just click next. We don't need to make any adjustments to TCP. Set the protocol to UDP, and below we want to only allow the available ports to accept traffic which means specifying the range of ports given by your ready GSM port range. For me, that would be the 15,000 to 15,007 range for all four of my servers. Click Next to proceed to the Actions page. Here we can leave Allow Connection checked and continue. This page can also be left alone. Just hit Next. Fill out the name and or description of this rule so you know what it is for adjustment or later use. I'll name it Arc Ascended UDP for now. Once you're done, click Finish and head back to Arc. You still need to do two things. Make sure you are in the unofficial tab. You need the Show Player Servers box as well as Password Protected box to both be checked. Your servers will now be visible and joinable by you and your friends. Congratulations, everyone. You have configured your port forwarding, firewall rules and arc settings. Finally, you can enjoy your servers with your friends. I hope this process helps you all. If you get stuck and need additional help, you are welcome to email us at the support link on the website. This is Dunby. Happy travels and I will see you next time.